Okay guys, so now we're gonna have a bit of a think about what we actually are going to use to build this application. What makes the most sense to use? What's the tech stack that we are going to find it find to be easiest to use in order to produce this this application? So to answer that question, the first thing we need to consider is okay, what different technology do we have to move around with and like what would be the simplest way to do building this? Well, the first and like the tried and true way of doing this is to use server-side rendered web pages and you would use some basic CSS and just some basic JavaScript to kind of enhance your experience but the way that the, like Gmail or Fmail which is what we're going to build is going to behave is going to require a little bit of a different way of thinking about it because the first thing we need to ask fundamentally is okay how can we build this web website in the easiest possible way Server-side rendering is quite is one of the simplest way of doing that, but unfortunately, this specific application is actually not the sort of application where server-side rendering is a good fit. Now, let me just illustrate that, because the way that it works is that I can I can go between my different tabs here, and I can look at my spams, and I can look at my like different tabs here, right? And as you notice, what you're noticing is that I'm actually staying on the same page when I move about. As you can see, like I'm not actually moving anywhere. The links aren't moving me to a new page or anything like that. So the kind of the expected behavior from this application is that it's supposed to behave like a web application and not just a standard web page. To illustrate the differences, if we go to this web page here, for example, and I start moving, if I click and interact with the different like uh, actions that I can do on this web page, it moves me to different uh, different areas of the of the website. Basically, that's the expected behavior. Now, this is a standard like web page, or it's it's a standard. It's like the the standard way that people are accustomed to using the web. That you click a link and you move to a new page and you're shown that content. But what we want to build is not that experience. We want to build something like this, or like in this scenario, we want to be able to move around on the same page. Like the idea is that we're not, we're just interacting with what we're seeing right in front of us, and we should at no point feel the sensation of being moved to a new page. So with that in mind, this is a very good fit for an SBA framework. An SBA framework stands for single page application, and you may have heard of some of the more famous frameworks such as React, Angular, and Vue, Aurelia, Ember, and so forth and so forth. There's tons of these different JavaScript frameworks. Now, you shouldn't, if you are building this sort of application, these these solutions makes a lot of make a lot of sense. But if we had, if we were building something like this, we wouldn't necessarily gain all that much from using, say, React. But in this scenario, it makes total sense. So my thinking is that we will use React for this, and we will probably add a few dependencies on some styling libraries as well, because we don't want to sit and kind of have to think so much about making a nice design and creating like a lot of uh, putting a lot of time and effort into designing this application. We just want something quick and up that looks decent. So I'm thinking that we will use React and probably one of the UI libraries. Something most likely we're going to use Material UI for this. That's probably a, it's a fairly good fit for this. So let's have a look at setting that up in the next video.